Hello, welcome to Investigator TV. Uh, me, Daniel Statia. I'm with my colleague, my CEO, Mr. Stan Lendaula. Uh, he's the executive editor, the investigator, the mighty website in Uganda. Mr. Stan, mm -hmm. we have a story of the week. Actually, this story even made some of, of the journalists lose their jobs. Mm -hmm. Tell us, bring us to speed about the censure of yeah, the story is about, uh, it is just before us, yeah, viewers, it is, uh, the headline is uh, Namu Ganza Sensha. General Museven sends a tough signal to speaker a monk, Abamba Mita Mungi, but she's a monk uh, via his uh, UPDF MP's last minute position. We are now talking about this last minute position. Last minute position, yeah, you have a touch of your attack in the, that is, uh, if you know President Museven, even when he's talking, uh, so the only institution the the only institution the president loves most and trusts with all his heart is uh, the army, the UPDF in that uh, sense. So uh, we have uh, watched President Museven on several occasions. And for those, most of us, of course, uh, most of you guys are still. Young, you did see the censure of, uh, uh, of the, uh, Sam Kutesa. It was uh, led by uh, Patrick Chibundu. May his soul uh, rest in peace. And the other guys, so, Benjamin so, Mwemu. So deep in your story, yeah. uh, there is somewhere you put that uh, actually the speaker, Anita Amon, is using. Yeah, the definitely. House definitely to that's where I was headed. Uh, the president. Yes. Basically, the army absconded from uh, participation, participating in this censure simply because the army, the commander in chief of the armed forces, did not want to uh, to associate himself with this. Uh, even the army, because he treasured it so much, he never wanted to participate in it. So that's why we talk of uh, sending a signal. This is a very tough signal to speak among. Because uh, like we have another story again on the investigator which uh, talks of uh, uh, having this uh, uh, parliament as the only, this, it is this only parliament that has pursued more personal battles than uh, uh, battles of uh, public interest. So that is uh, among it because uh, if you can see Namuganza, Namuganza's husband, if you don't know, Geoffrey Wakavari. The town clerk of Makindi is the one who, uh, who nullified the marriage between uh, between uh, uh, the speaker monk and the, uh, the husband, the, the husband, uh, your boss at the uh, president, Asim Makogo. So this is purely a battle of ego between two uh, two ladies. But uh, what again? Among must know is that uh, Namganza has not met the president now. He was even on their party uh, when she was still a student. Um, we have a photo of that in the, that particular in this particular story. So, and um, as uh, Among was busy in FDC punching at seven, Namganza was in the field soliciting votes and uh, support for the NRM and seven. So. Uh, that's why we came up with this story. The details are so you, you can you, you find them there. It is uh, among has all the reasons to be worried about the master, the CEO of Uganda, General So thank you, um, our viewers. These uh, details about the story and more. Please just tap onto the investigator. The link. Thank you.